wild pair of Bangai Cardinals eating the marine flake and herbivore flake. The regal tang is currently eating the algal pellets and herbivore flake and a mix with the marine flake. The other pair of percular clowns are feeding my second Correctus Magnifica a mix of the marine pellets and flake. Both of the NEMs seem very able to digest the pellets, uh, liquefying them as though they were white bait. The mandarin at the rear of the tank is currently picking at marine pellets. The cleaner ass is currently eating small pieces of herbivore and marine flake. Please excuse the quality. The rear of the tank here you can also see a comet group up, also known as a marine beater. He is currently eating the medium size marine pellet and marine and herbivore flake. He has also been seen taking the small algal pellets. The yellow wrasse eats solely marine flake and sometimes a herbivore flake. Here we have a cold beauty eating pieces from a large uh, marine pellet. The two cleaner shrimp are currently feeding on several flakes that have landed by them. The female percular has just taken an algal pellet into the nem. The velvet damsel will eat anything, as they generally do. The yellow tang and the scapas tang eat both kinds of flake and the algal pellets. The few chromis you can see dotting around will eat both kinds of flake too. And somewhere here you may see a dart fish coming out for the marine flake and the herbivore flake. This fish was extremely thin when I got it about a month ago, it has since doubled in size and no longer has a pot belly. It's a similar story with the cleaner wrasse that was very small but has doubled in size and clearly growing well. As you can see the NEM is happily digesting a mix of the algal pellets and medium sized marine pellets this end. Maybe very difficult to see but at the rear of the tank there there is a court jester goby currently feeding its way through algal pellets on the sand bed. You may be able to see the mouth of the anemone here. Just again to clarify, these are Herectus Magnificus. Uh, extremely difficult to keep in captivity. However, both of mine appear to be doing very well. Um, very strong flow across both. However, lighting is only 150 watt 20k lamps. Uh, they would be far more suited to far higher lighting. But both appear very happy and healthy. Since feeding new era pellets, I'm noticing far greater colour and growth in both anemones to previously feeding frozen foods. I've also noticed filter feeders such as my large gorgonian, my large polyp gorgonian, has actually opened its polyps whilst I do feed into the tank. It's 
similar story again with the brain frag that you can see here that has currently got several polyps out uh, searching for food. Quite unusual as far as I'm aware during the day. Again, this has only happened since using New Era foods into the tank.